now you, you got to ask like why was this abandoned what was the problem and so initially it was fine but over the course of time it could have and lead to a chronic inflammatory process so this is going to be a theme um, our body likes the tissues in terms of uh, recognizing what we call self and uh, that allows you know your own body's immune system to check everything that gets introduced into the environment think of like a splinter if you got a splinter stuck in your finger it would get red and irritated around that splinter and that's because it's not your tissue it's foreign if you left it in there it would form a chronic inflammatory reaction around it including but not limited to a granuloma it could get infected it may get ulcerated it may need to be drained all these things can happen that's just the simplest way to think about it so now we're taking a foreign substance that is got to be liquefied under heat inject it and then it firms up beneath the tissue so your body's immediately going to recognize that as foreign and the process of extrusion of that which is what's going to happen your body's going to try to get rid of it it could lead to ulceration tissue necrosis ultimately infection fistulas drainage all sorts of problems ultimately requiring probably uh not just a lumpectomy or partial removal of where that was but it would lead to mastectomy and disfigurement because of this so in the west it was largely abandoned by the 1920s in terms of use as a product to to inject 